to the video today i'm going to be making a video on all the updates that happen in creative in v17.10 but first make sure to watch my video um about like all the updates in battle royale and also about cosmic summer which is amazing and speaking of cosmic summer they actually changed the background lobby so um before i tell you any more details about all the updates that happen in creative i'm just going to check in creative and see if there's any new items or devices or anything like that all right guys so before i check out if there's any new items or devices in creative as you can see we have a new like fncs all-star creative hub so if you guys don't know there's something called fncs all-star showdown which is like a tournament that'll be happening soon and a bunch of pros will be in it i think it's like some showdown thing maybe uh, i mean i version they already did the fncs finals so i don't really know what this is i haven't read any details about it or anything but uh yeah it looks pretty cool so um well and now i'm gonna check out if there's any new items or devices this is a nice creative help though all right guys so right now i'm just in a random kevin floating island first we're gonna check no win for is there any new prefabs mm, no there's nothing Ooh, damage volume um yes yeah, so i guess the new devices ATK spawner are, and the ATK spawners are back and there's also a new damage volume device so um yeah this looks I mean it's only a couple devices but well, how does the ATK spawn oh it's not like it's like you can place it anywhere now oh that's cool I can't believe they added these back to creative I don't know why they took them out I think they just wanted to update them to look more like this and so you can place it wherever you want well yeah it, it feels like regular nothing really new to that yeah and um and the settings are kind of just regular enabled during phase pre-game only gameplay only or none respawn time you could do one second never or like five minutes um you could put respawn vehicle when enabled yes only if needed and no and same with the destroy vehicle when disabled you could put oh wait you can only put yes or no for that so um yeah and you could also do owning team so as you can see uh since they've recently added like 50 teams i think yeah 50 teams you could go up to team 50 so um yeah you could also do visible in game on or off supports wraps enables or disabled and you could also change the health or you can make it indestructible which is at the start uh you could do assign drive when receiving from respawn ve vehicle when receiving from enable uh, i mean destroy vehicle when receiving from enable when receiving from disable when receiving from when player exits vehicle transmit on when player exits vehicle transmit on when vehicle uh swan transmit on and when vehicle is destroyed transmit on so um yeah also we have the damage volume obviously the damage volume itself isn't new but <coughs> sorry i had to sneeze but yeah it's kind of like what they did with um the barrier now you can just place it anywhere and you can place it in specific spots so like you could do this oh no you're trapped how to get out and it's not like you just go one block and then you die you can make it anytime so the settings you could do zone visible during game yes or no base visible during game no or yes i mean well pfft. you could also change the barrier width so you could do 0 0.5 0 0.05 and then you could do up to 100 you could also change the depth it has the same settings also the height and you could do elimination like right when you go into the zone it eliminates you and you could also do damage over time <clears throat> and then damage this is kind of for damage over time not really for elimination but uh yeah you can make it so it does 150 damage 200 damage 500 damage 1 2 5 10 25 50 100 150 blah 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 and you could also do like how many damage per i mean like hmm so basically the damage actually shows how much damage it does do per any amount of seconds, and this is the seconds you can make it. So you can make it 60 seconds, 30, 20, 10, 5, 3, 2, and 1. Sorry, I'm going pretty fast, but. And also select the team, team 1 to 50. Um, effects team, so you can make it all but selected or only selected. Affected class, you can make it to no class, any class, 
No classes. Oh, wait. Wait, why is there none and no class? And then you could also do one to 16 since it's 16 classes. And then you could also turn shield damage on or off. And you could also do, oh wait, yeah, effects class, you could do all but selected or only selected. And then affects creatures, yes or no. Affects players, yes or no. Affects vehicles, yes or no. Affects unmanned vehicles, which basically means if they're not in the vehicle, you can put that to yes or no. And also enable during phase, none, all, pre-game only, gameplay only. You could do enable visual effects, yes or no. And also all of these channels. So, um, yeah, those are all the new devices in Creative. Now I'm just going to read to you all the details. The Creative V17.10 update brings new weapons and updated fishing device. Full Knight's V17.10 update is here, and new invasion tech including the Chimera Ray Gun, Rail Gun, and Pulse Rifle are coming to Creative. Learn more about Mari's Field Report. We're also adding a few community requested weapons and some bits and pieces that we just plain missed before. Check out the full slate of updates below. Weapon updates added some of the new Chapter 2 Season 7 Invasion weapons. Chimera Ray Gun, Rare, Epic, and Legendary. Pulse Rifle, Rare, Epic, and Legendary. Rail Gun, Rare, Rare, Epic, and Legendary. Added some older missing weapons. Rapid Fire SMG, Common, Epic, Legendary. Hunting Rifle, Epic, and Legendary. Sculpt Assault Rifle, Epic, and Legendary. <coughs> <clears throat> added new rarity search tags to the weapons gallery. Fresh fish. Things are about to get real. The fishing zone gets a major update with three different loot modes. This includes a custom device inventory and the ability to fish almost anywhere. Read more details on the updated fishing device within the recently released Fortnite Creative docu Documentation website. New device for damage control. Damage volume is the latest device to be reborn and prop born, so now you could bring the pain in pretty much any direction you want. Read more details for the damage control device on the Fortnite Creative Documentation website right, guys so that'll be it for the blog post and also the rest of the posts are just like device updates gameplay updates prefab and gallery updates and just a bunch of fixes like device gameplay prefab and gallery fixes island fixes and just ui fixes so um yeah you could go on the actual website and you want and read those if you're interested but um yeah that'll be it for today's video have a great day or night and bye <laughs>